finding the best van lease options. Van leases can be a great way to get access to a larger vehicle that you might not be able to afford otherwise. Giving yourself a new tool to transport cargo and supplies or move larger numbers of people all at once. A van can be a versatile and reliable option for many different roles. Both in the workplace and in everyday life. However, leasing a van requires that you actually find a leasing option worth using. There can be dozens of factors to consider with every single lease vehicle you find. And there is not always a single best choice out there. You have to find the best lease for your needs. No matter how specific they might be. Your requirements the main thing to keep in mind throughout your entire search is your own requirements and needs. When you are looking for a van lease, you want to eventually choose something as close to perfect as possible. And that means understanding what perfect would be in the context of how you plan to use it. For example, a people carrier is a great choice for situations where you are moving a lot of people around, meaning that it is the better option for those kinds of tasks. While this makes a lot of sense and seems extremely obvious, it is easy to get caught up in other details and overlook the basic facts that you can use as guidelines. There can be a lot of factors that go into the kind of vehicle you want to use. Size. Layout. The number of seats. The number of modification options. The color, all of it can matter depending on what you need the vehicle for. Thinking about what you want ahead of time can make the search significantly easier for you. Modifications modification packages, as well as aftermarket modifications, are quite common on a lot of vans. This could be something simple like new seat covers or a refurbished dashboard or something a lot more significant and complex like a complete rework of the rear section that converts it into a mobile office. Official modifications often come as packages with certain additions being freeform and easily installed across all variants of the same van. For example, a roof rack and ladder might be suitable for any version of a van, including modified people carrier variants with additional rows of seating. There are also third-party modifications that people sometimes make to their vans, which can occasionally make their way into lease vehicles. This could be anything from a new dividing wall to a complete refit of the van's interior, all depending on what the original owner wanted. Manufacturer and model One of the things you should consider focusing on is the model and make of the van itself. While this might not matter to many people, it can still be an important thing to keep track of. Especially if you are looking for a highly specific kind of van and need a certain feature that only certain manufacturers can offer. For a lot of people, the manufacturer will not matter that much since there can be a lot of similar vans spread across different companies. However, the model is the important part. Two different models that look almost aesthetically identical might boast different performance statistics. Engine types, seating options, and modification packages. While you do not usually want to search for a specific make and model unless you absolutely have to, it is still important to narrow down the options you do not want to use. Having an idea of which manufacturers can't meet your needs will dramatically speed up the process of finding those manufacturers that can. Lease details it is easy to focus on the van far more than the lease itself. But you need not to forget that the contract is also important. There are a lot of factors that go into even the most basic lease. From the overall lease period to the total cost of the vehicle lease itself. All of this matters, especially if you need something under very specific criteria. Make sure you understand the details of a lease before you agree to anything especially if you are not completely sure how it all lines up together. Talk with the lease company and make sure that you have a complete understanding of every factor, especially the parts relating to what you need to pay them. A lease does not change once you sign the contract, so you need to be sure that you are signing a contract you agree with. If you are completely stuck and can't get a clear answer out of the company, consider getting a legal expert to help break down the contract itself, although this should not ever be something you have to do cost as you might expect. The cost is going to factor into a lease much more than many other details will. If you can't afford a lease, then it is simply not going to be an option for you. At least not unless you move around some money and find a way to make it fall within your budget again. The cost of a lease is going to be depending on the total lease time and the amount of money you need to pay per month, as well as any other fees involved in the lease. You need to budget for these costs and make sure that you can actually afford them before you sign the lease. Just to be safe, remember that more expensive leases are not always better, and cheaper ones are not always worse. However, you still need to be sure that you are getting something high quality and trustworthy.
so do not hesitate to do your own research and figure out which options are most likely to suit your needs well. Van leasing can be complex and surprisingly stressful, but it is not hard to get everything sorted out if you start searching properly. Take your time and narrow down your options. You can then see which of the remaining lease choices are most likely to match your requirements. Reposted from SourceAutomotiveAddicts.com